Hey there YouTube, it's Ashley Catalina back. So today in this video, I'm going to show you some tarot and oracle decks that I have, um, and I'm also gonna do like a review of those. I'm going to insert a couple of little TikToks that I have made in relation to those decks and things. Hello there, Witch Talk. Today, I just had something that I really, really, really wanted to share with you all. So, a while back, I was like ranting and ranting and ranting about how we didn't have my runestones, right? Well, since they never arrived, I got refunded, so I ordered me a new set, and they finally arrived. Um, I got them from magicplanet.com. They're wooden, um, and they're just, they're just so wonderful, and I just love them so much. And they also come in a um, special little box. Also, I have two new tarot decks on the way that I'm super excited about. One I bought myself, and the other one my wonderful mother ordered for me, and I am very grateful for that. Um, let's see, what else was there? Uh, I just, oh, also this is my Himalayan uh, salt lamp right here. Ooh, spooky. Um, but no, I just, I love divination, and I just feel so blessed today. All right, now let's get started on my tarot and oracle deck collection because it's always so fun. So behind me, I have some of my tarot and oracle decks and I will go through each one of those. We're just gonna start right on top here. So this one is um, the Welcome to Night Vale first edition tarot deck. I've actually used this deck quite a lot and I find that it works really well for me. The only problem is I have shuffled it so many times and used it so many times. If you can't tell, they're kind of getting scuffed, but these cards are amazing. I love them. If you can't tell, there's a little eyeball. The art is absolutely amazing. I really recommend this deck. Now, the next deck that I'm going to show you is the Tarot of Pagan Cats. It's mini. Um, this one my mom got me and I'm super happy about it and I love it. Like when I show you the cards, they're like super, super, super small. And at first I was terrified I wouldn't be able to shuffle them, but luckily I've gotten used to it and I really, really, really love this deck. Plus the imagery is so cute and it's really similar to the classic Rider Waite um, style. Now it does come with a little guidebook, and there are two cards of the deck that basically just tell you about like who made the cards, kind of almost as if it was like a book. I'm gonna set those down over here, and now I will show you the cards. They're teeny tiny, look at that. They're so small. And like, it's really weird to try to shuffle them. I'm shuffling them, you can't really see, but it's actually what I'm doing right now. Um, like this is how small one card is. It's smaller than my hand. And then this one, this is one that I just drew randomly. And I don't know why it is, but for some reason I am a huge fan of decks of unusual size, whether they be like a giant tarot deck or a mini tarot deck like this. Um, because they're just so interesting and I really like this deck and I'm still bonding with it. But I think, overall, I really, really like this. This Mystical Wisdom card deck is actually the very first that I ever owned. It is actually an Oracle card deck as opposed to a tarot deck. Um, I saw it in a local metaphysical store and I was like instantly drawn to it. And I was just like, I have to have this deck. Um, and I'm really glad I actually started out learning Oracle cards first before I learned Tarot because learning from an Oracle deck first got me kind of used to, you know, shuffling cards and different symbolism and looking into that. Um, now this deck, the little box opens, whoops, like so. <laughs> it does come with a little guidebook. And these are what the back of the cards look like. Wait, hold on, I can't really see here. But I just, I love how beautiful they are. They're just, they're gorgeous. Um, and they're very easy to shuffle. They're like a mat. And they're also really good size too. The artwork is absolutely beautiful. I love how complex the artwork is. Um, 
and it always comes with like a little message. This one's Face Your Fears. And honestly, I rate this deck um, 5 out of 5 stars. This Oracle deck is the Oracle of Shadows and Light. I mentioned this in a previous video. This is a deck that I absolutely love. It has the little thumb thingies along the side to help you open it. It comes with a nice little booklet that explains all the cards and all the card meanings, which is really nice. It's really detailed. Now the box itself on the inside is really nice too. So this is what the back of the cards look like. And there's like a little slot for the cards in the book to go. So that's really nice. See what I mean? I absolutely love the artwork in this deck. Now the cards are a little bit glossy, and but the cardstock's pretty durable. Um, so other than the glossiness, I mean, it's not too bad of a deck. And personally, I actually really, really like this. So whether you want to rate it 4 stars, 5 stars, whatever, that's totally up to you. I'm just telling you, I really like this deck. My only complaint would be it's kind of hard to shuffle because they're, like, the glossy cards. The next deck that I'm going to show you is this deck, the Spirit Animal Oracle deck. Um, I believe there are 68 cards in this deck, and it's absolutely wonderful. The artwork, I believe, is by Colette Baron reed and it's amazing, okay? So the box itself has a little magnetic closure. You open it up. Then you have the little inside here, and it has a little quote. And then you have a little string. You lift up that string. And you get the guidebook, very thick guidebook, very detailed, and I love it. You get a protection message or an oracle message. So this this is a really good deck, um, actually for beginners, I would say too. Not only um, experienced readers, but also beginners, because you can learn, you know, reverse meanings. And with this deck, there's not really any negative meanings. So this is what the back of the cards looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. I love this back. And the texture is really weird. It's kind of hard to explain. It's almost rubbery, but it's not. Like, I don't know. The cardstock's pretty thick. It's, well, it's kind of bendy, but it's durable. Um, and see on the back of each card, there's a different animal with a message. And whether you get it as a reversed, or upright, you get an oracle message or a protection message. So this is a very wonderful deck to have. Now the next deck that we are going to talk about is the Wild Unknown Tarot deck by Kim Kranz. Now this is a deck that I wanted for a long time. However, the version I have is not the real version of the deck. I really appreciate Kim Kranz's work. I did not realize until after I bought it that it was not a real um, Kim Cran's Wild Oracle or Wild Unknown Tarot deck. That it was a fake version. It comes in a little tuck box, which I kind of worry about the quality of that because you know those can get destroyed pretty easily. However, I was looking to the cards, um, and the card quality seems to be okay. It does not come with the guidebook. It comes with like a little scanner thing on the back to where you can get like an online version of the guidebook. I do plan on getting the real version of the deck at some point. However, I did check and it did come with all of the cards. I double checked and they were mostly in order um, and the quality honestly isn't too bad. Now the cards are a little flimsy but the artwork and stuff, it's really not that bad honestly. I think it'll do just fine. For now um, and obviously I don't want to waste the cards or anything because I did spend my money on them I am going to use these and then I will continue to use them get some use out of them and then hopefully at a later time purchase the real version of the deck that way the artist and author gets the money so speaking of fake decks versus real decks Another deck that I absolutely wanted for a really long time is the Kim Kranz Wild Unknown Archetypes deck. And I actually got the real version of the deck rather than like the fake version. Um, one, to support 
Kim Kranz, and two, because I really, 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 really wanted this deck. Like, I've been waiting for this deck for who knows how long, and I'm just, I'm so glad, and I love it so much. I think this is actually my favorite deck. So, you know, it comes in this little slidey thing. Box looks like this. It's really pretty. There's a little magnetic closure on the side, so then you just open it up. And the inside looks like this. There's another ribbon, so you lift that up. And you get this beautiful guidebook. The guidebook is wonderful. It goes into so much detail. And it's partially in color. It's just... Oh, I, I can't even tell you how great it is, okay? It's just... It's so great. I could sit here and read this for hours. And then... The cards themselves are actually in a box within the box! In this nice little circular box. It almost looks like a cake. It's so cute. Because the cards themselves are circular. So if I take the lid off... Sorry for my baby hairs flying around everywhere. Then you just lift the ribbon. You can't see what I'm doing at this moment, but I'm lifting the ribbon to get the cards out. This is what the inside of the box looks like. It's really cool. All right, I'm going to pause here for like one second before I continue. Um, just to say that this deck is probably one of my favorites. And also remember how I said that I like decks of unusual sizes and shapes? Well, it's circular. And these cards are huge. They're huge. It took me a while to figure out how to learn how to shuffle them. They're just, it's like a little cake. And let me tell you, the artwork in this deck is phenomenal. I love it. I love Kim, Kim Cran's work. I can't get over it. Like, oh, what's a really good card I could show you here? Okay, I'm just gonna show you like the first few that I just pulled off, cause yeah. So like there's this one and they're like collage photos and they're all based on different archetypes. There are 78 cards in this deck, but it's not a tarot deck nor is it an oracle deck. I would say it's something kind of that's both. It's something else of its own accord. And it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. The healer. I'm gonna show one more card because I just love the art so much. Oh, look. The seed. You all have to have a seed of an idea in order for it to sprout and grow. Look at me getting all poetic. Ooh. Anyways, this deck. I just love it so much. In fact, I will insert a TikTok that talks about how I felt when I first got this deck and started messing around with it in my utter amazement. So some more things that I had previously ordered arrived in the mail today, and that's wonderful, except now I'm going through a philosophical like identity crisis. Um, because now I'm thinking, there are archetypes everywhere. And one of the things that I bought that I absolutely love is the Kim Kranz Wild Unknown Archetypes, uh, deck. Now there's also some D&D dice that showed up, but yeah. There's, um, the box. And I have more, a couple other, uh, tarot decks and stuff over here. Some runestones, another tarot deck, and this tiny little mini one. I have one more tarot deck that I'm waiting on. Basically, I'm in deep thinking mode right now, and I think I'm really, really, really going to love this deck, um, but I can't get over the symbolism that's all around us in tarot, in astrology, in art. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you would like me to do separate videos on any of the decks I talked about or mentioned and you want me to go more in depth about any of these decks please let me know and I will be happy to do that anyways thank you all for watching once again uh, until next time peace love and harmony and the card stock is whoops. Whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. Well, I can't believe I just got that on camera.